sculpt today, which is a little bit different. We've been, hi, I can't wait to talk to you after this, Steph. Um, a little bit different. Hey, Stephanie Ch Shadwick. Uh, so sculpt today, it's usually on Fridays that we're doing it today. If you have light hand weights, grab your light hand weights. Um, Donald's grabbing his right now. And uh, we'll get going. So the playlist, hi, Kathy. The playlist for today is 30 minutes sculpt for 30, 20. I'm so creative and original. Um, and if you have it pulled up, great. We're gonna hit start. And if you don't, you'll hopefully be able to hear the music through here. So I am gonna push play right now and ask you guys to just have a seat and easy pose on your mat. Just get nice and comfortable. Weights nearby at the top of your mat. And then shoulders relaxing down and away from the ears. Take a deep breath in. And a full breath out. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. Once more, full inhale. Complete exhale. Inhale the arms overhead. Cactus your arms open your chest and then just kind of roll the wrists all the way back down. Again, inhale, arms overhead. Cactus the arms, roll the wrist maybe the opposite direction. And make your way to tabletop. From your tabletop, drop the belly low, tip the tailbone up and look up, breathe in. Round your back, chin to your chest, contract through the core, breathe out. Again, inhale as you find your way to cow pose. And exhale to cat. Cow. And cat. Come to a neutral position. Step one foot back and then the other to plank pose. Shoulders are really strong. Triceps wrapping back. Go ahead, just drop the knees down. Good. Now lift the knees back up as you stabilize through the shoulders and the core. Drop the knees, hold, and lift the knees. You'll hold the full plank for three, two, and one. Downward facing dog. Pedal the feet right and left. Maybe sway the hips a little side to side. Then tiptoe the feet forward to the top of your mat. Grab for opposite elbows, ragdoll pose. Fingertips to the floor, let them lengthen halfway. Forward fold. Inhale and stand, sweep the arms overhead. Bring your hands to your heart. Extend the fingertips forward, palm to palm, wrist over wrist. Tuck the chin and round through the back. You'll feel that in the upper back. Now squeeze and open, taking a nice wide grip. And then switch your grip right over left, chin to chest. Squeeze and open, broaden through the chest. Again, cross the wrist, chin to chest. Squeeze and open, and once more, switching your grip, chin to chest. Squeeze and open. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. As you fold, just the left foot will step back. Chest, pull the chest forward, and drop the left knee to the floor. You'll lift the left knee to find your way to pyramid pose. Pull the right hip back. Shift back into your lunge. Left palm plants, right arm goes high. Just a half rainbow. Take the fingertips back and into the floor. Same direction, back and straight up. Fingertips back and into the floor. Same direction. Take it back. Feel the shoulder warm. Once more. Take the arm high. Right hand to the inside of the right foot, drop the back knee. Lizard pose, your variation. And find your way back to a lunge. Step the right foot back, it's plank pose. Leave the knees up or drop the knees down and lower all the way down to your belly. Hands in line with your chest, inhale and lift to cobra. Exhale and lower, take the hands out wide. This time as you lift, squeeze and open through the chest like we did when we were standing. Straighten the elbows, lift from the pinkies, pulse, 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 
Heels are lifting and pulsing two. Warming up the back body. Three, two, one. Hands in line with the chest, cat pose. Curl the toes, lift the hips, downward facing. Walk the feet forward. Halfway lift. As you fold, right foot steps back. Right knee to the floor. Pyramid pose. Shift forward, right palm plants, left arm halfway, back and up through the circle. Take it back the same direction. Left fingertips back and up. Left fingertips back into the floor. Left fingertips back and up. Left fingertips to the floor. Left hand to the inside of the foot, lizard pose. Press back up, left foot steps back, it's plank pose. From your plank, lower halfway. Find upward facing dog or cobra, and then it's optional, back to a low push up. High push up, downward facing dog. If you'd like to flow a little differently today, you can keep the extra push up or you can skip it all together, it's all fine. Look forward, bend the knees, walk or hop to the top. Half lift, inhale. Forward fold. Inhale and stand, sweep the arms high. Bring your hands to your heart. Here we go, arms sweep high. Forward fold. Lift halfway. Hands on the floor, walk or jump back to flow. Plank pose, you'll shift forward, and it's an alternating knee tap to the tricep. Start with the right, back, left, back, right, and left, right, back, left, back. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, chin is up, core is strong. Last one, hold the plank. Downward dog. Look forward, bend the knees, walk or hop to the top. Half lift, forward fold. Inhale, stand, bring the hands to the heart. Arms overhead, breathe in, forward fold. Lift halfway. Hands on your mat, it's your path to your down dog, however you wanna get there. Plank pose, shift forward. Alternating toe taps, right, center, left, center, right, and left, right, and left, right, and left. So if you want to intensify this movement, you'll start to jack this instead. Out, in, out, in. Five more, four, three, two, and one, downward dog. Look forward, bend the knees, walk or hop to the top. Half lift, forward fold. Inhale to stand, arms overhead. We'll combine the two movements, hands at heart. Arms overhead, forward fold. Halfway lift, hands on your mat. Walk or jump back and flow. Here's where it's different, shifted forward. Plank, right, back, left, back, Right, center, and left, center. We'll speed it up just a little bit. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and left. If you want to intensify it, it's two jacks. Go right and left, two jacks. It's right, left, two jacks. One more. breath in and a full breath out. Look forward, bend the knees, walk or hop to the top. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Bend the knees and grab the weights. Bring the weights to the shoulders, chair pose. Fold here, weight in the heels. Starting to fire up those legs. Good, as you stand up, drop the weights by your sides. Right and then left, alternating bicep curls. You're up, 
down, up, and down, up, and down, up, and down. Last four, and three, now two, and one. Listen close, arms by your sides, right foot steps back. Right knee drops and right arm curls. Stand it back up. Now right knee drives forward, left arm curls, squeeze. Step it back, right knee drops. Go squeeze, stand up, drive, step back. Go drop and drive, drop and drive. Drop. Now drive, make the drive forceful. So you're getting into your abs as well. You drop, curl and drive, drop and curl, curl and drive. One more, down, squeeze and hold. Right foot meets the left, both arms down, palms face forward, squeeze together. Up and down, up, down, squeeze it up. Four more. Now three, two, okay, weights by the sides. Left foot steps back. Left knee drops as the left arm curls. Good, stand it right back up. Left knee drives as the right arm curls. Step it back. Down, up, drive, step back. Down, up, drive, step back. You could just do the legs. Don't worry about the bicep curl if it feels like too much. Squeeze, step back. You're down, up, drive and squeeze. Step back, down, up, squeeze. Step it back. Down, up, squeeze. One more. You're down, up. Remember we hold. Left foot down, both arms down. Up for two, two, and one. Down for two, and one. Up, and down. You're up and down, you're up, and down. Good, bend the knees, get rid of the weights. Lift halfway, hands on your mat. Walk or jump back, slow or skip it. Look forward, bend the knees, walk or hop to the top of your mat. Lift halfway, forward fold. Bend the knees. Grab the weights, palms will face each other. We're taking a row with a close grip, right and then left. Right, down, left. Now together for two. Squeeze, release, squeeze, we're back to right. Right, and left, squeeze for two. Squeeze the shoulder blades, lift through the elbows. Right, down, left, and down. Now can you shift the weight back into your heels a little bit? And can you make sure your core is staying strong and active? Left, together for two, squeeze, squeeze. Good, right foot steps back. We're moving on to triceps, so I want you to lean out and forward. Squeeze the weights together, squeeze, squeeze. Tiny little rotation, chest pulls forward, right hip squeezes down, belly is strong. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, we're stepping forward. Step it forward. Weights in front, right, left, together for two. Right, left, together. Squeeze and squeeze. Right arm, right, left, together for two. Squeeze it up. Squeeze. Right, left, squeeze. Okay, we're stepping left foot back. Left foot steps back, squeeze the weights back up like you did in your row. Kick the weights back, it's back, forward, back, and forward. We're just moving from the elbow. So I want you to keep pinching those shoulder blades. Core stays strong, chin is away from the chest, and the breath is flowing for three, and two, and one. Step it forward, one more combo, weights in front, it's right, down, left, down. Both arms come up, it's two kickbacks. You kick, pull in, kick, pull in, down. Right, 
down, left, down, pull up, kick back, squeeze in, kick back, both weights come down. Now we go right, right, down, left, down, squeeze up, squeeze and kick, and kick. One more, drop the weights in front, go right, down, left, and down, squeeze it up, kick it back, kick. Good, hold it up, right foot steps back, kick the weights back, kick, kick. You can squeeze this up, lean out and forward, three, two, right foot forward, switch the legs, left foot back, kick, kick. Maybe you prefer squeezing, I'm already sweating, and my triceps are on fire, three, two, left foot meets the right, forward fold, get rid of the weights, lift halfway, Hand on your mat, walk or jump back, and flip. Catch your breath, take a deep breath in. And a full breath out. Good, if you need to, you guys go ahead, drop the knees, catch your breath, grab a sip of water, and then we're gonna keep on moving. As you can tell, the focus is in the triceps. So as we move into our uh, push-ups today, Think about maybe trying a tricep push-up, which is gonna be elbows in tight, similar to that row position. If you prefer a more traditional push-up, that's okay too. So as you get set up, find the knees back like you did in plank pose. If you want the knees up, be my guest. We're down and up for 16. It's 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, core is strong, 10 more, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three. Can you hold this one right above your mat? Elbows in, core is strong. For three, two, push it back. Child's pose. Great job, you guys. Go ahead and roll up. Grab one weight or both weights. Take the weights overhead. Keep the ribs in and the elbows forward as opposed to out. Here we go, you're down and up, down and up, down. Belly strong, ribs knitting close together, down, up, down and up. We've got 10 more. You can do this. Last nine. How are you hanging in there, baby? Great. Eight, good. Seven, six, last five, four, or are you guys hanging in there? Two more, you can do this. One more, and then you're gonna ditch the weight. Shake the arms out, because those of you who come to sculpt regularly, you know what's next. We're still doing push-ups. We're dropping by four, okay? So shift forward, elbows are back, core is strong, and we just have 12. You can do it, here we go. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight more, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Push it back. It doesn't matter how many you do, you guys. It doesn't matter if you're on your knees or off your knees. Take breaks when you need to. All that matters is that you continually show up. You take the time out for you. Go ahead and roll it up. If you need longer to rest, take it. Otherwise, grab the weights. Ribs are in, belly strong. Here we go. For 12, nice and slow, 11, I know it's harder, 10, 9, 8, are your elbows pointing forward and are the ribs in, 6 more, you've got it, last 5, and 4, 3, 2, and 1, okay, one more set of push-ups, we're going right into it because I know you can, I don't care if you do one or two or all eight. Belly strong, elbows back. Here we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Get ready to hold, hold, hold. Three, two, one. Push it back. Find your breath. It's our last set of tricep extensions. Grab the weights. Take the weights overhead, elbows forward, core strong. Here we go. For eight, up, seven, squeeze, six, yes, five, four, three, two more. Last one. Do 
ditch the weights. Shake the arms. We aren't going to use the weights again, so you can get rid of them as much as you want to. Take your right elbow to the floor. Think about extended puppy pose. So hips stacked over the knees. Right fingertips up, and you might have to shift around a little. Trying to find your sweet spot. Good, now switch. Left elbow down. And then both arms forward, extended puppy. Roll through to your belly. Right arm out to the right, roll over the shoulder and stretch the pec. And then you'll switch. Left arm out, roll over the left shoulder. Just some ab work and some booty work left. Go ahead and find yourself on your back. I'm gonna turn sideways so you guys can see a little bit better. Both feet on the floor, hands behind the back of the head. Just an active, concentrated crunch. Crunch and lower, crunch and lower. Keep the elbows away from the face, please. 16 more, 16 and 15. 13. You should feel the breath coming down now, heart rate coming down for 10 and 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 more, 3, 2, we're moving on to the lower abdominal wall. Drop the head down, drop the arms by the sides, tap the toes to the floor, then lift the toes up and lift the hips, squeeze. You're down and up, down, up, down and up. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. We're at our halfway point, keep dropping, keep squeezing. Eight more, you got it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Same tempo for now. Obliques, right knee in, left leg wrong, hands behind the head and left elbow to the right knee. Here we go, we switch.
10. Last nine, eight, seven, six, five more, four more, three, two, drop the knee, sway the hips. That was a few more than I had anticipated doing, but now we've got to balance ourselves out. So lift the left heel, flex the foot, engage the hamstring. Lift, lift, lift. Core stays so strong and active for 15 more, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 more. Now 4, last 3, and 2. Prepare to hold, hold, hold. Is your core strong? Is your breath flowing? It's knee to nose. Squeeze it in. Squeeze. Take it back. Squeeze. Finish strong. Squeeze. Back 5 more. Squeeze it in. Press it back. Four, now three, and two. Remember, we're holding this one. Hold and lift. Now pulse, 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 and pulse. 16 more, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, almost there. Last one, drop the knee, sway the hips. Great work, you guys. If you need it, child's pose. If you wanna keep going, if you're with me, downward facing dog. Walk the hands back to the feet or feet to the hands, wherever your weights are. Take the toes wide. I know, I promised you we would use these again, but we still have time left in our song. Hands to, or weights to your shoulders. Nice wide squat, so almost like Malasana, but I want your hips up so there's tension. Now pop the booty, you'll lift. Keep the weight in the heels. Keep the core strong. And if this does not feel good to you, you're here, right? Doesn't matter, maybe you're holding for eight, seven, now six, five, four, three, two, and one. Get rid of the weights. Toe heel the feet together. Nice work, you guys. Halfway lift. As you fold, come back to your plank pose. From your plank, shift back into downward facing dog. Right leg flies high. Bend the knee, twist the hip open. Leggy forward to pigeon. Wiggle the left toes back. You guys have made it. One breath at a time. Come back and find ease. Take the time here to find some gratitude for you, for the time that you have, for your able body, for showing up. It's a big deal, it's a big accomplishment to be here and be present for you. Walk the hands back, gently rock off to the right side, swing your left leg around, take the arms overhead, bring your hands to your heart, and again, palm to palm, crossing at the wrist, chin to chest, round the back. Open, squeeze, and switch, palm to palm, chin to chest. Open and squeeze, both arms overhead, fold over the left leg. in front of the right, walk the hands forward, press into keep the chest lifted. In your own time, in your own way, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, bend the knee, twist the hip open. Left knee forward. Pigeon pose. If you prefer figure four, take figure four. Mm -hmm. 
Lift the chest, gently rock off to the left hip. Swing the right leg around. Inhale, arms overhead, hands to your heart. Extend the arms out in front of you, palm to palm, chin to chest. Squeeze and open. And then switch for twisted on top. Squeeze and open. Arms overhead. Turn and fold over the right leg. chest, you can bring the knees in and slowly lower down to your back. Once on your back, right knee hugs in. You can take the knee across the body and twist. Back to center, switch the legs, left knee in, right leg long. And take the knee across the body, twist. Back to center, knees to chest. Can be happy baby or a waterfall. Wherever you like to be to finish off your class before arriving in final Shavasana. And as you come into final Shavasana, allow all the muscles to relax from the head down to the toes. From the front side of the body to the back side of the body. Allow your mat to be there as a form of support. You feel safe to unclench the teeth or soften in the belly. 